Hello and thanks for checking out this video. First, a quick introduction. If you have any questions about this research assignment, don't hesitate to contact your professor, David Knackley. Email him at dnackley at mvcc.eu or visit his office during office hours in Payne Hall, room 328. My name is Jocelyn Ireland. I'm a librarian on the Utica campus. Typically, you'll find me in the Learning Commons or in the library. And like all librarians, I'm available to help you with research, formatting your papers, setting up a tutor appointment, or citations. The purpose of this video is to discuss how to find quality sources for your research paper. The big takeaways will be why you should use the library website for college research, and effective search strategies to find scholarly sources. And if there's one thing I hope you take away from watching this video, is to speak up if you're struggling. There's a support network at NBCC to help you. Their writing tutors help you with writing, advisors to help you overcome personal challenges, and librarians to help you with research and citations. We all want you to succeed. Let's move on to the assignment. Be sure to look over the assignment description carefully to find out what the expectations are of Mr. Knackley. Here's a brief overview. This is an 8 to 10 page research paper on an American writer who is writing between 1920 to the present. You do need to get your topic approved by Mr. Knackley before a rough draft. You have to include biographical information, background about what was going on during the time period, the style and genre your writer typically worked with, what works they're most well known for, themes in the work, and what the work is in reaction to, and why you chose this person. You have to use at least four credible sources for this paper, and you have to use at least some scholarly sources. That means books or journal articles from the library website. Any questions about expectations should be directed to Mr. Knackley. So let's move on to researching. Your instructor is expecting you to use the library website to find most, if not all, of your sources. But why? Why not just use Google? The first obvious reason is because there's a lot of crap out there. It's hard to sift through all the junk to find the real treasure. Even if you're great at evaluating and identifying credible sources, not all information is available online. If you're only using Google to do academic research, you're really limiting yourself. The open web has a lot of information, but doesn't have everything. Much of human knowledge and published information is not on the internet. So don't discount books just because it takes a little more time and effort to get your hands on them. Most scholarly material is not on the internet. So let's jump into researching for this paper. If you don't know who you want to write about, it's totally fine to get some ideas from Google. Look up writers and the American dream. Browse through your results and see if there's anyone that jumps out at you. Just keep in mind, you need to pick someone very well known that has a substantial amount of research done about them. And think about the writers that you've already discussed in class. Once we have someone in mind, it's time to go research on the library website. From the college homepage, hover over academics and select libraries. A good place to start your research is the main search box on the library homepage. Enter your topic. Let's say I'm interested in researching Arthur Miller, and maybe I'm going to start out with looking at a biography about him. Just keep in mind that spelling does matter when you're searching on the library website. If you get zero results, it might just be because you have a spelling error. Let's see what sources our search retrieved. You're going to get a variety of material types with this main search box. You're going to get physical book records of books located in the library. You're going to get journal articles that you can view online. You're going to get peer-reviewed journal articles that would count towards one of your scholarly sources. If you select material type on the left-hand side, you can see all the different material types and you can choose one if you want to narrow down your search. At the beginning of your research, it's a good idea to either start with a book that's going to provide a lot of comprehensive information or reference entry, which is usually an encyclopedia article that'll just go over the basics about the person's life. One new feature to the library website is that you can put physical items on hold, whether a DVD or a book. So let's say I'm interested in this biography. I clicked on the title and now a description about the item will appear. At the bottom there's going to be a, a virtual shelf browse so I can scroll through and see what other items are located nearby this item on the shelf. I could sign in and put a hold on it. That means that the item will be set aside for me and I can go pick it up 
at the circulation desk. In order to sign into your library account, you're going to use the same login that you use for SIRS. It's your M number and six digit PIN number. So after you log in, there'll be a link to place a hold. It'll ask you whether you want to pick it up in Utica or Rome, and then you can submit your request. I'm going to change my search terms up a little bit. I'm going to add the word criticism and select peer reviewed journals. Here I've got some articles that are looking at specific works that he did. I'm going to change my search terms again and add a phrase, American Dream. Notice how I put quotation marks around my phrase. Once you find an article you like, you can select the title. Many articles will have a description or a short summary. It'll help you decide whether this article is something relevant to your, to your research questions. If everything looks good, select one of the databases. To view articles from off campus, your login information is your first initial, last name, day of birth, and the password is the last four digits of your social security number or last four digits of your M number. It's the same login you use for your student email or Blackboard. Once you're in the database, select PDF full text. Now different databases are going to look a little different. Some will not have a PDF full text link. Some will link you directly to the full text. No matter which database you use, there is usually a button to download the article to save it to your student account. You can print it off, save it to a Google account, email it to yourself, or create a citation. So in the EBSCO databases, this is what the citation button looks like. I'm going to select that. Just make sure you're looking at the correct citation style. Since we're in English, we're going to be using MLA. So what I usually do is just copy and paste it and put it right into a uh, Google or a Word document. Uh, it's a good idea to save citations because you're not going to want to track the citation down or try to recreate the citation later on. You do need to proofread these because they're not always done 100% correctly. It really just depends on how well the data was put into the item's record. So once you've got a variety of sources from this main search box, it's also a good idea to take a look at some of our other databases because that main search box doesn't search everything the library has access to. So I'm going to click on A to Z databases from the library homepage. You can use the All Subjects drop-down menu to find out which databases are best for certain topics. So I can choose literature and language. Literary Sources is a great database when you're researching about literature and writers. For this assignment, you also need to get some historical information. So I can go to the history databases. U.S. History and Context is a good one to go to. I'm going to select that one. So here you can search for a particular decade that your uh, writer was particularly active. So you can read about what was going on during that time period, maybe what was affecting the author's uh, mindset or providing some inspiration. You could also try looking up your writer in this database as well. And this database also has a citation button. So thank you for bearing with me to the end. You should have learned some helpful strategies to research on the library website for your research paper. Don't forget that there are people at MVCC available to help, whether it's how to format an MLA paper, how to format your citations, or you're having trouble finding scholarly sources. Librarians, writing tutors, your professor, we're all happy to help. Hang in there and good luck.